everybody, this is Norm over here, and I want to turn you guys on to something really, really special. Uh, this is my buddy Grant Geisman, one of my best buddies. I taught him everything he knows. That's right. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> no, but really, he has got this new record out called Blues. And I think this is possibly the best instrumental blues record I've ever heard. Wow. I mean, it's incredible. And uh, on the record, as well as yourself, Joe Bonamassa, Josh, Josh Smith, Smith, Robin, Robin Ford, Ford. Um, John Jorgensen. Yeah, Jim Cox. I mean, one of the greatest keyboard players ever. I, I mean, agree. Russell Fronte, on and on, all yep. these great people. This record is stupendous. Great guitar tones, great taste on everything. Thank you. I mean, just, it's not like the, most of the blues stuff that you hear is like, well, let's do a one, four, five, and we'll end with da 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 <laughs> There's a lot of thought, great voicings, great stuff of this. This just came out yesterday. Yesterday. And it's the most it's, requested. It's the, it's the most added um, track on Jazz Week, uh, Jazz Radio chart. It's the most added. So that's Fantastic. really Fantastic, great incredible. start, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, um, Grant is, you know, one of the guys here, hangs out at the store, and <laughs> that's how you met uh, Joe Bonamas and Josh yeah. Smith, actually. It is. You know, I kind of say on the liner notes that this store is kind of a nexus for this album. I mean, I, I met uh, Josh Smith and, and Joe Bonamassa hanging out here, and I heard a lot of different players playing a lot of bluesy styles, and I kind of like, I need to make an album that is bluesy, but not just a straight up blues album, an album that every track is bluesy in some way, but not necessarily straight up blues. Well, what's cool is the grooves are all different. I mean, you have like, there is a shuffle, which there's funky stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of second line, you know, New Orleans kind of stuff with blues over it. Well, there's a track, that's really cool. it's, yeah, second line kind of Bo Diddley kind of vibe. That's a three guitar uh, melody, you know, harmonized out for me, uh, Joe Bonamassa and Josh Smith. There and then was we another all one though with like the New Orleans piano that I think Jim Cox is playing on the, that too. Yeah. It might have been well, there's a tune called Fat Back that's yeah. kind of a funky tune that has Tom Scott playing sax. On yeah. It. And you you've worked with Tom numerous he's times. He's done. Yeah, I have. You know, I've played in his band a little bit, and he's been on the last few of my records. Great player, and you know, legendary guy. Grant also plays with Steve Terrell, who I think is you know fantastic. I mean, if you ever saw the movie Father of the Bride. Um, you know, the He's way you look tonight. Yeah. I mean, you know, that was Steve Terrell, really soulful. He used to be a producer for Scepter Wand Records, which was a great label. Dion um, Warwick, Burt Bacharach. Chuck all Jackson. Of, yeah. You know, a lot of, lot of great R&B acts yeah. were on Scepter Wand, the Shirelles. I mean, you know, so, um, but, you know, Grant plays with everybody, not to mention, he wrote the theme song, the acapella theme for Two and a Half Men. I did. So Grant, can I borrow some money? Because I mean, I know you've been- Absolutely, because you, you're definitely hurting. You know, you look around and I feel sorry for Norm. We're taking a collection, a GoFundMe page for Norm. Thank you very much. But I think he's done pretty well for himself. But Can't this complain. record is the bomb. I give this the 100% Norm guarantee. Wow. I, I, I really mean it, I mean, you know, every groove, every note, every tone, plus you're using some killer vintage stuff. This is a real uh, .NET 335. 61 335, yeah. Look but at I, the condition of this, you know. I got this right here from our friend Norm, but it's, it's just a stunning instrument, you know. Um, Grant, you know, I mean, he loves guitars that are real clean. He keeps them real clean, but they all have to play and they all have to sound great. The secret is Lemon Pledge. Is that what it is? That's the secret. <laughs> I thought it was mayonnaise. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say one thing? Talking yeah. about TV themes, this great man, uh, the theme from Monk, which was one of I my all-time on, favorites. I played on that. Jeff Beale is the composer, but it's a kind of Django Reinhardt. It's the most kind of beautiful little set piece of guitar that there is on TV. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Out. I love that. Yeah. So and today is like old home week. I've got my buddy Jerry over here, who was the first drummer in my first band in Miami that you know, sure. I've known since I was about 12 <laughs> years old. My buddy Sonny over there, who I've also known since I was about 12 years old, went to University of Miami together. And uh, 
over in the corner hiding out with the cowboy hat over there is my buddy Val McCallum. Woo! One of the great guitar players plays with Jackson Brown. There he is. And his other band, Jack Shit, which is uh, <laughs> uh, a great band, and they play a lot around town here. And, it, you know, it's, it's really great to have the store kind of back to where it's not just appointment only now, you know, get to see my friends again and all that. But uh, I recommend this tremendously. Where can they get this? Well, they can get it at any streaming service, virtually all of them. And they, if they want to buy a real CD, <laughs> which has, you know, liner notes and, and uh, inserts and, and uh, you know, photos and all kinds of stuff, you can't get that on Hi, streaming. Great Hey, hey! And we got <laughs> Chester over here. Anyway, if they want to go online, uh, they can get this at Amazon if they want to buy a proper physical CD. Do you have any copies here? Uh, There's one right here. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's getting mine. Yeah, hey, so, Grant. Uh, yes. I've been listening but to the hell out of this. Um, yeah, you remember Amazon. when you were in Chuck Mangione? I do remember that. That was so cool. That was fun. <laughs> One of the most famous, that was awesome. one of the most <laughs> famous to... <laughs> solos of all time, was on "Feel So Good." Oh my God! Uh, that's I mean, people talk about that even today. What year was that when you? God. Did? Well, we recorded it in the summer of '77, and it became a huge hit on radio. You know, AM radio in those days, uh, in '78. So well, people still back talk in the about day it. when back in the day you'd hear incredible guitar solos on the radio. You'd hear that solo or. Midnight at the Oasis. Or, oh, yeah. You know, like, it was that level great, by the way. Well, th oh, Superhero. Man. Thank Here's you. Here's uh, another buddy of mine just walked through the door over here, my friend Greg Leroy. <laughs> and Greg um, used to play with a friend of mine, uh, Hearth from Earth, Hearth Martinez. I don't know if you've ever heard the record, but I helped him get a record deal through Robbie Robertson and Bob Dylan. And it was on Warner Brothers, and it's a fantastic record. Hearth is no longer with us, I think but. I know an old friend of yours too, Eddie Arkin. Oh, yeah. My buddy, Eddie Arkin, great composer, I know great Eddie guitar since player. high school. <laughs> well, yeah. it's old home week here at Norm's. Uh, yeah. You know. All roads but, lead to Norm's. I just you know, <laughs> and all, and all roads fun. also, and all the people on here are probably saying, Norm, shut up. Grant, play us out, man. Play a little bit more. Here's a tune from this album, Blues. And I spelled it B-L-O-O-Z, not because I didn't know how to spell blues, because it's not a straight up blues album. It's, it's bluesy in some way. But here's a tune called Preach from this album. And this tune actually features uh, Randy Brecker on trumpet, if you guys know who that Another is. Another great one. Whoops. Did I go away? Oh, I did. <laughs> These old guitars, you know. Oh, they're undependable. Yeah. Really undependable. But you need one in good condition. I that's know, that's right. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
thing, I, I can't let him leave without this, because Grant is possibly the most versatile guitar player I know. And Grant is a big fan of the Beatles. I am, that is a fact. And so can you take us out with a little Beatle thing, something that, uh, I mean, one of the greatest guitar players in the world right here today. We've got a few others in this store right now that are really great as well, but this guy is uh, my idol. Well, here's a kind of bluesy take on, on a Beatle tune that you might remember, okay. or you might recognize. So that's Grant Geisman's version of yesterday. Yeah, it's our days tonight. So anyhow. Just kidding. The great Grant Geisman. Check it out and buy this record. Killer. Thank you, Norm. Did you use that for the team when they That was amazing. That's great. <laughs>